what is up youtube man i'm back with another video and as you can tell i'm in the car again i don't know something about doing a video in a car just gives me so much peace and then it look good it feel good outside too so might as well do another video in the car but anyways let's get straight to it as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title this video is basically me breaking down step by step damn near breaking down step by step of how i sold out in two minutes i know i did a video on me selling out in two minutes but i feel like that video didn't really break down the structure of really behind the scenes of what i did to sell out i feel like i was just you know chopping a lot of stuff up if that makes sense like i showed y'all little clips here and there of me on live me sending out i think i showed y'all sending me out of testaments i can't remember what i showed y'all in that video but long story short i don't feel like i showed enough in that video i know a lot of people just looked at the video and was like damn she sold out in two minutes but i feel like i didn't really break down and really get into detail of showing exactly what i did to sell out in two minutes step one have a good piece that's 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 damn near if you don't have a good piece that damn near defeats the uh, purpose of the next steps that i'm about to tell y'all so step one have a great great piece like you have to have something that stands out that's unique that catches the consumer eyes it could be fucking socks it could be t-shirts it could be whatever but it just has to catch that consumer eye to where they feel like they need it and me i just figured out early on in the game that varsity jackets was my forte like i feel like everybody has something that they're good at or good at designing or whatnot my 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 forte is varsity jackets that's that's where that's why i run this shit at you know what i'm saying like i love making varsity jackets it's so easy for me to design a varsity jacket and every varsity jacket that i damn near drop is different from any other varsity jacket because i feel like varsity jackets it gives you so much creative space to wear like no varsity jacket could look the same as anybody else varsity jacket i'm just saying with mine at least next step i did was i took high quality pictures and videos now what i mean by high quality pictures and videos before i was just taking pictures of um of my product on the ground like i was just literally i would literally go down to the tennis court put my product on the ground and take pictures i'm not against taking pictures on the floor because i ain't gonna lie some people take some good ass pictures on the floor but i just feel like with me my pictures wasn't hitting on nothing so what i did was i changed it up just a bit and i realized the difference in me changing it up like it caught the consumer eye for real for real i switched from going to you know taking my pictures at the tennis court and i went to taking my pictures with a background and i can show y'all if i if i can find the pictures i'm pretty sure i can't i'll show y'all the difference of me going from this basically to this you know what i'm saying so i took high quality pictures and then i took high quality videos as well too so i tried to change my change the way i make videos because like i said i was making my videos from the tennis court i'll go down to the tennis court i'll take the picture and then i'll take the video too but what i did was i bought a backdrop off amazon a white backdrop off amazon like how you know the photographers take pictures and i put and i took my video like that and it gave it that more like professionalism to it if that makes sense so high quality pictures and videos that's step two the pictures and videos will get you far number three what i did was i market everywhere like when i say i market everywhere i was everywhere with it i was on snapchat twitter facebook tiktok instagram shit if i had my space i would have been on my space market everywhere like i said in the previous video when i was telling y'all things to avoid with your brand same thing market everywhere don't put your eggs all in one basket don't just market only on tiktok and that's it like market everywhere you never know which social platform will blow up you never know i market it i put my shit on twitter facebook instagram tiktok i have my stuff everywhere so to the point where i be live on tiktok and somebody will come in my tiktok comments and be like hey i just seen this same post on facebook going viral or somebody would come and be like, hey, I just seen this same post on Twitter. Like, I was everywhere, literally. When I tell you I put that shit in people's face every day, I was marketing everywhere. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's key. That's key, I'm telling you. Now, following on to what I said, I went live on TikTok. I go live on TikTok often. Now, a lot of people might get burnt out from doing it, but I did see a drastic change a while ago from when i when i wasn't going live to when i started going live going live will build that community if that makes sense like people want to know who behind the brand nowadays you can't run no brand and just be faceless i mean it's possible but people want to feel connected to the person that's running the brand they want to feel like 
they somewhat involved in it, if that makes sense. Or they, they seeing your journey. They seeing the beginning. They seeing the process of everything. They seeing how you started and where you at now. That, that's how my TikTok community is. My TikTok community is so proud of me for selling out in two minutes because they was there when I was doing my pre-orders and it took a week for me to sell out. Or shit, when I was doing my pre-orders and I ain't get no sales or whatnot. They was there for the whole journey. So what I'm saying about this is go live, create that community, build that community. You get what I'm saying? Start talking to these people. And you never know. It's people on TikTok that's willing to buy right then and there. You get what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've made several sales just on going, I'm going TikTok live. Go live on TikTok. If you got a 1,000 followers, I believe they just knocked it down to 800 followers. I'm not sure. At the time, when I needed to go live, I had to have a 1,000 followers. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But if you're able to go live on TikTok, start trying it. Start, start trying to go live a little often. Showing your piece. Showing your product. Because a lot of times... People got questions. And what I love about going live on TikTok is I can answer your question right away. Somebody say, hey, can you show the back of the jacket? I'm able to flip it around and show it. I'm able to actually show my piece, show my product, show what I got and answer any questions that they that they had that they may have for me. So that's why I say going live on TikTok does help a lot. It does. A lot of people might tell you, no, it don't. But I promise you, I've built my TikTok community. I've built my following just off going live every day. Everybody damn near know me because I'm always on live every day. Literally. The fifth thing that I did was I created scarcity slash FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, FOMO is fear of missing out. What I did was I lied. Now, a lot of y'all here, y'all probably going to be like, bitch, you lied to us? Because I know a lot of y'all probably caught from the drop. What I did was I initially ordered... My initial plan was to actually only sell 50 uh, of those heartbreaker jackets, right? So, because that's all I had for, from what I made from Black Friday and my December drop, I only had enough to only buy 50 varsity jackets on hand, right? So, I initially was, was going to do 50. Now, what happened was, ain't God good. Navy Federal approved me for a 20K credit limit. And I said, oh, yeah, it's time to go big or go home. So, I told my manufacturer, hey, make 50 more of them make 50 more of them so what i did was i told customers that hey i'm only selling 50 even though i know i got 100 on hand it creates scarcity because wait you only selling 50 and these many people is interested in this jacket you going viral on facebook viral on tiktok you going up on instagram your twitter is doing good everybody want the jacket and only 50 can get it and it's on hand that's that scarcity and FOMO. That's the reason. That's really the reason why I sold out in two minutes. I had people flying to the site trying to get this jacket before it sold out because they know you only got 50, but they seeing it. People seeing me go viral. People seeing me go up. People seeing other people that saying, oh, I want this jacket. I want this jacket. My drop was like some Jordans. Y'all know how when Jordans drop some hard ass shoes and them misses sell out in a minute. Everybody want the shoe, you know. Oh, no, I got to get this shoe. I got to get on the sneakers app. I got to get on this app. I, you know, you got to create that scarcity, create that FOMO. If you can, do it. It works. It works. You can lie a little bit. You know, tell a little white lie. You know, cool. You know, it's a good lie, though. I told y'all I only sell fit. I only had 50 on hand, but really I, I had 100 on hand. So it's a it's a good lie because at the end of the day, you were scared that you wasn't going to be one of the 50. But initially, it really, truthfully, I had 100. So I gave you more of a, you know, lie, but don't lie. Lie, lie but don't tell a bad lie. Tell a good lie, you know. I'm only selling 50, but really you got 100. Create that scarcity and that FOMO, I'm telling you. The sixth thing that I did was I also created an offer. Now, I initially didn't have to do the offer, but I like to do giveaways every now and then. Every now and then, I do run a giveaway. Now, how I run my giveaways, I I I, I would recommend that y'all do this do it the same way. And don't get me wrong. If you do want to run a giveaway, how they do it on Instagram, do that. But I recommend y'all run the giveaway the way that I run my giveaways because it works like it, it works. It works wonders. I promise you, it works wonders. Now, what I did was I told customers since um I told customers. The first customer to place an order will get their order refunded, meaning they will get their order for free. Now, don't be lying about these giveaways now. Always be truthful. Like, why would you Why would you tell my folks you're doing a giveaway and then you really not doing no giveaway? You really ain't giving away to nobody. Be truthful. So, what I did was, like I said, I told customers, first customer to place an order, as soon as I open the site at 1 o'clock, 
First customer that comes up on my screen, they order getting refunded and they're going to get their order for free. Now, what that does is I already created the scarcity and the FOMO. You only got 50, right? Now, on top of that, I'm telling customers that the first person to get on the site and order is going to get it for free. So now you, you have a chance to not only get the jacket, but get it for free. Works, works like magic, works like magic. And I've been running my giveaways like this. I'll probably say this is my third time running a giveaway like this. And I say it works wonders. Like, it have people flying to your site to try to be that first uh, first person to win. Now, the reason why I say don't run your giveaways like how Instagram, how, how they tell you to run it on Instagram is because personally for me, it didn't work out for me. And I didn't like the way I ran it. I didn't like the way it was ran. Like, they tell you, oh, um, post your product and then say tag three friends and post it on the story and then you you will pick the giveaway winner now what i don't like about that is is that it attracts a lot of freeloaders so it attracts a lot of people that's interested in your product but not interested enough to buy it if that makes sense so if i don't win your giveaway if you don't pick me that's cool i'm, I'm not buying that shit anyways that's cool you know what i'm saying but the giveaway that i run it forces people to buy it you know what i'm saying like I attract people that are genuinely interested in the product. And no matter if they win or not, they bought the product. You know what I'm saying? Like, in order for people to enter my giveaway, they got to place a purchase. You got to purchase. You can't just you can't just enter it for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I run my giveaways. Do what you will with that information. Like I said, it works wonders. Uh, I won't. I typically don't run giveaways often. I try to run giveaways every now and then because I don't want it to be, I don't want to create a, um, I don't want to create a behavior in my customer's mind where it's like, okay, I didn't win a giveaway for this drop. Next drop, I know she's going to run a giveaway. So I went, you know, I just try to do a giveaway every now and then. I try to do a giveaway for those special drops, those drops that's like, you know, they overly hype. If I want to add some more hype behind it, go ahead and throw a giveaway behind it. You know what I'm saying? But do what you will with that information. That's what I did. I ran a giveaway on my, on my, uh, on that drop too as well. So that's what had people flood in the site. As but not least, the, another thing that played a heavy role in me selling out in two minutes is my SMS marketing. What I mean by that is every time I was promoting this drop, I was, I was, sending people straight to my sms hey go on the site sign up for sms that way you can be notified when i drop my sms marketing was on point like when i say i dr i was driving nothing but i was driving customers straight to the site i'm on tiktok live hey i'm doing a giveaway i'm only selling 50 jackets if you're interested in a jacket go on my site right now sign up for the sms that way you be notified via text message when we drop i'm on facebook doing the same thing every time i get somebody that that texts me and said hey um I'm interested in a jacket. I send them a text and say, I send them a, I send them a text back, you know, on messenger and say, Hey, if you're interested in the jacket, go sign up for the SMS. That way you be notified via text message when we drop. Boom. I ha I'm just having people sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up. That's how I build my SMS. I went from 2,500 people initially signed up to when I started promoting this jacket from the point where I dropped the jacket. I had over 6,000 people signed up on the SMS. So I went from 2,500 to 6,000. That's a crazy jump. But that's because I was driving people straight to that. If you interested in the jacket, go sign up for the SMS. Sign up for the SMS so you be notified when it drop. You don't want to miss this drop because I'm only selling 50. Go sign up for the SMS. You want to enter the giveaway? You want to you be the first one? Sign up for the SMS so that way that text message can come to you. I'm telling you, bro, it works. It works. This is just for motivational purposes and this is just to prove my point. I don't want anybody to think that I'm lying or it was just all luck and whatnot. I ended up running a pre-order for this for these jackets again. So I just recently opened my site um on the twenty third. So February twenty third is when I dropped the jackets again for pre order. So I'm gonna say how much I made this week. I've done, and I did I did the same thing, same, same thing, same marketing, same everything. You get what I'm saying? I did the same thing. The only difference is with this drop is that I didn't do a giveaway. And the only reason why, like I said, I don't do a giveaway for every drop. I do it every now and then for special drops. So I didn't do a giveaway for this drop. And I didn't really create scarcity for real, but I kind of did at the same time because I told people, hey, this is the last and final time that I'm dropping this jacket. After this, I'm not dropping it no more, which is the truth. I'm not lying. I'm not capping. But just to show y'all a quick number this week look we did a 20 ball again can y'all see that we did a 20 ball again 
this week. This is how much I made so far. And I dropped on the 23rd. And today is Sunday, the 25th. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Yeah, today is the 25th. So just in two days, 23rd, yeah, just in two days, I made 29K. I made more than what I made from my last drop. From the last, the last time I dropped, I made 25K. I told y'all that was a 25K drop. This drop, I dropped them again, 29K. So these are consistent numbers. I'm telling y'all, this shit works. This shit works. You just have to trust in your marketing and you have to trust in your product and you have to just drop some good products. Like, just drop some hard ass shit for real. Like, that's all it is. But yeah, y'all, that's how I sold out in two minutes. Um, I hope this uh video helped a lot of people out, gave a lot of people more insight on how I drop. I appreciate everybody that stopped by and showed love to the video and subscribed to the channel. I got more content coming soon, clothing brand content, vlog content, all types of stuff like, you know, behind the scenes, lifestyle, all types of content coming soon. So I appreciate everybody that's stopping by, showing love and supporting the channel. Yeah, we out.